Have you ever wanted to see Henri Pichard mentor his little buddy into making one of the strangest, weirdest cult adult films of the late 80s? If your answer is yes, you've clicked on the right video. This is 1989, joined the Siamese Twins. <laughs> howdy, howdy. I'm Jason from Barefoot. This is Squeaky Clean Adult Films. Today we are talking about Joined. This is the bottom of all the rejections. So if I will release this, I will release anything. I love this movie, so I'm releasing it. I need to check it off my box. I said I was going to stand here and do everything until it's done. And I am a man of my word. I love this movie crazy subtitles one of the first ones we ever did it doesn't even have a thumbnail back this is one of the first first i think this is the fourth we just let youtube pick a thumbnail we were punk rock back then we didn't care about anything we should go back to that paul norman is a writer and a director and an editor that's what he's known for those three things and this movie he did four things he also produced it henry pichard helped him out a lot actually got a co-director credit, special thanks, and additional camera. He's in the credits three times. Back when I made this, I had no idea who Henri Pichard was. This is old. This is probably four years old. Four people did the special effects. A four person special effects team on an adult film for this little piece of latex. Cause Saber and Raquel, we'll talk about all the actors after the film, but they are joined. Hence the name. And this is a cult classic. And they did a follow-up to it called Separated. <laughs> I don't know why it wasn't called it Separated the Siamese Twins. Because this is joined the Siamese Twins. Separated. Ain't twins anymore. Or separated. This time it's personal. That's maybe what I would have done. But I'm unoriginal. This actually had an intro. One of my pet peeves is when someone makes a video in a car. I will not watch any video made in a car so you're not going to watch it either i'll cut to it just so you can know i have been one to tease a lot of videos made in cars i'm not above it i mean i am now but i wasn't there's a four minute falling in love montage at the zoo there's the longest like falling in love scene oh there's a quick little boom shot when they're walking to the bathroom you can see the boom i liked that 70 minutes long ours is 19 that's a lot for this is the king of the rejection pile i'm not kidding you it's basically those subtitles it's a good movie g the squeakiest of g's let's watch this we'll talk about all the actors after these 19 minutes Dr. Peters? No. Cassandra, I've told you to call me Barbara. <laughs> well, Doctor, it's been a while since you made a house call. I know. Um, I have something very important to talk to you about. Well, please, Doctor, come in. Thanks. Hey, what's the windows 
They look great. Yes, and it opens up the entire room. Actually, we're pretty used to it by now. Even the neighbors are used to us. We're good. So, Doctor, why have you come? Would you like some coffee? I'd love some coffee. Can I help you girls with anything? Oh, <laughs> of course not. How stupid of me. Thank you. So why did you come, Doctor? Well, I have some very exciting news for you. Oh, great. What, another revolutionary development in the separating of live tissue cartilage and blood vessel? Something like that. You see, there is a doctor on our staff now who is an expert surgeon. His knowledge on this new technology is just incredible. He just separated two twins in France that have a similar situation to yours. Successfully? Completely. But they said it couldn't be done, not with the organ we share. Well, from what I understand now, it's possible. But you know, it's really out of my field, and I, I can't tell you all the details, so I want you to talk to this surgeon. Oh, he's very good. Young and cute. Saber? Doctor, this is quite a shock to us. We've always assumed that we'd always be connected together to the day we died. I'm not even sure if we want to. We really haven't talked about it. Um, you know, I've been with both of you for too long to be objective in the situation. There's another psychologist at the hospital. I, I'd sort of like for you to talk to him. If you have any fears or apprehensions, I think it would be a good idea to just get together with him and go over it. Is he young and cute? <laughs> Saber, you know, you haven't changed a bit. Of course. He's young, he's cute, and he's single, but that never mattered to you. What about the operation? Are we going to have scars? Oh, yeah. They'll be scarring. I mean, they're planning on doing a skin graft right after the operation, so within six months to a year to two years, you guys will probably be normal, healthy young women. Normal? Mm-hmm. Doctor? A Barbara. I mean, Barbara, I really think that we need to discuss this more among ourselves, <laughs> at least at first. Well, I can understand that. What I'm going to do is give you the business cards. This is the psychologist. This is the surgeon, Dr. Stanley Jefferson. I suggest that you call him, both of them, and talk to them because it couldn't hurt. Okay. Thanks for coming by, Doctor. I mean, Barbara. <laughs> All right. Please call him, okay? Mm. It's just always been normal, the two of us. Almost like it was meant to be. Everyone's always thought it was awful. But we've always been so happy. Doctor, I'm not even sure I should be speaking with him. He's been a counselor for years. I'd really be happy to give up. Paul, it's not the point. Dr. Peters should finish with her counseling. I've become very close to them, and the fact is that they complement each other. What, their personalities? Yes, they're, they're two distinct people, but yet their they're movements, their decisions, their... What are you saying? Like this, this, like this what thing. are you trying to say? Are you saying they shouldn't be separated? What kind of life no, could that be? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just I'm, 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 I'm,
the trauma that this will cause these two young women. It, it, that's why I want you to go. Okay, for okay. Kind of sake. okay, I'll see them. Have them come here to my office. No, to the hospital. I can't have them come here to the hospital. I found over the years, by the time they get here, they're so upset from people pointing and staring that they aren't even willing to open up to me. So my afternoon is free. Okay? Okay, I'll go see them. I can go with you. No. I my calendar's no, free. Shut up. Do not. Do you understand me? Do not get involved. No, me Here is the address. Call me in an hour. I think we'd better go over the Sullivan case. Doctor, I must say, I really could have helped. Paul, after that last situation, I don't know if you're ready to go out solo yet. Doctor, I... One more situation like that, and I'm going to have to let you go. Doctor, I've explained that to you. That is not even the point here. Kevin has a much more sensitive approach to his counseling. It'll work. So now let's just talk about the Sullivan case, all right? All right. Well, um, it's a tough one because um, we can't seem to break them out of this fantasy world. And do these twins live normal lives? We're talking about the Sullivan case. Well, you said you were, you were apprehensive. You know, you were having problems with your apprehension. I thought I could help you with that. Paul! What we're going to do is we are going to talk about this and you're going to ask me every question that's on your mind until your mind is blank. Do they have relationships? They have relationships very few and far between because most men can't handle the situation. Of course there's a bond between you two, a strong bond. It's much more than that, Doctor. Remember, you're calling me Kevin. Yes, Kevin. Dr. Peter Sloss, right. And what's that, Saber? That you're young and cute. I've heard of your escapades, and it's not going to work with me. I came here to talk with you. Do you have a girlfriend? Excuse me while I go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. trying to pick up on him. He is cute. He's nice. You like him, don't you? Not like that. No, I mean, you really like him. Not like that. Oh, come on. How often do I see you retouch your makeup for a guy? If I knew you liked him, I wouldn't I have... don't like him. Maybe you should ask him out. He is your type. I'm not going to ask him out. I'll ask him out for you. Don't you dare. Oh, come on. You can't hide your feelings from me. Besides, I think he likes you. Are you done? Yeah. Doctor, what we were just fight? Figuring them out. Kevin, thanks for coming by, but I really think that we need to discuss this more among ourselves. I probably should be getting back to the hospital. If you need to talk, I understand. If you'd like to talk further with me, just give me a call at the hospital. Well, we could go somewhere else and talk, like a date or something. I'd be happy to talk anytime. How about Saturday night? Saturday day would be fine. Great, Saturday. Well, I'll look forward to it. Fine, that would be fun. Who do? Cassandra loves the zoo. Great, I'll pick you up at 10. And you ladies don't get up, I'll see myself back. Have a nice day. The zoo? You're the one that likes the zoo. Well, I figured that if you're gonna go on a date with him, I might as well get some fun out of it. And I know how you hate to share.
I'm sorry. I was just, uh... Just peeping? No, no, I was just... Peeking? <sighs> I'm sorry. So you just accidentally found yourself there? Why don't you come out of there? He's kind of cute. I'm interested. Yeah. Um, I just I, I kind of find it interesting. So do a lot of people. So do you want to see it? Well, if I could. Here, you can lean on this thing. <laughs> Do you just follow him around all day?
God, Kevin said we should stick pretty close. Why? <laughs> He's afraid of getting too attracted to one of them and losing his professionalism or something. Well, it doesn't look like he's doing too good to me. <laughs> <laughs> me either. But, you know, we talked about him having a relationship with the Siamese twin. It's just too much. Anyways, what kind of relationship could either one of those have with a man? I know. It would be so weird. I just had the weirdest dream. Me too. A cage? Yes. Yes, it was fun. Fun? Couldn't believe the gorilla. I guess he has been stared at. It's not that bad. Well, I had fun. I had fun too. We could do it again sometime. Not the zoo. How about dinner? Say tomorrow. No. How about now? I have food in the refrigerator. I could whip something up. Would that be okay with you, Saber? No, it's not okay with me. I've been bored all day long, and it's going to continue all night long. Saber! I'm sorry, Cassie, but I'm bored, and I don't feel like fixing dinner for your boyfriend. Do you have a friend? What? You know, a friend. A guy, a girl, someone. No, Cassie, she's right. She's blunt, but she's right. I guess I could call somebody. You really don't have to. It's okay. I'll just go to the phone. Hang on. I've been watching the two of you staring into each other's eyes all day long. Okay. I called somebody, and she's very interested in meeting you, and her name's Heather. Blonde? As a matter of fact, yes. Sabre and Raquel, two one-name people. Raquel went on to be Raquel Darren. Both of them were super new. This was Sabre's second film. This was Raquel's third film. One of the boy actors, too. So Dr. Kevin, the psychologist, this was also his third picture. I was getting a little confused at very first, so how I broke it down was cute and pretty. Sabre's the cute one. Raquel's the pretty one. Saber only did 19 pictures and got out of the business. Raquel, she stayed for a while. She actually had her own series. There's a bunch of them. Raquel in Paradise, Untamed, Released, Into the Wild. And there's more than that. One of my favorite things, and this is like super cult indie family affair, in Separated, everyone's in the movie. Everyone's in the movie. And Henry, who helped out a bunch on part one, plays the surgeon. I've never seen it. Henry plays the surgeon in Separated. Maybe we should look for Separated. I'll do it if I can find a four by three sugar cube that has subtitles on it. Tom Byron played the zookeeper in both. Cut from this one. You will not see Tom Byron, but he is in it. And is somebody in my chair? Is somebody in my chair? Get out of my chair. I love John Doe. You know how long it's been since I've been able to say, get out of my chair? The best line delivery in any adult film ever. John Doe, Bay Babe Watch. Not Baywatch, Babe Watch. Get out of my chair. Yo, Big D, check out the new, get out of my chair. Pennsylvania boy, no longer with us. 999 movies. Isn't that crazy? One more could have gotten to the four digits. So the main doctor, Barbara, as she likes to be called, they're close friends. They want to be called doctor. Barbara, Sharon Kane. We just talked about her a bunch on Liquid Assets. Remember last week I found out that she was a composer as well as an actor? A lot of composer credits too. Hey, you know what she should do? Take a note, a mental note, or you take a real note. We should find a picture that Sharon Kane did the music for, and then we do it. All right, have a good day. If you think this is ghetto, I do apologize. 
I do agree, but I also apologize. And I also don't apologize. This movie's so awesome. It's, uh, it was my call and I think I made the right call. But what I was getting at, sorry, long-winded, is that tomorrow's Sunday. Tomorrow's a brand new spanking one no one's ever seen before. And if you're, if you're sore, you'll be happy to... I'll see you soon. Oh, don't subscribe, don't like, don't share, just watch. And if you know anyone in the adult film industry who wants to fill some spot, they need to fill some dead air, they need to create some content, send them my way. I do this weird little project where I take adult films and I make them G-rated, sometimes PG-rated. And uh, it's kind of like keeping alive, not really restoration, but it's celebrating uh, adult films pretty cool i know the guy who does them i can put you up in contact and i am doing an interview like soon soon um i should probably check my email but isn't that cool i asked and i received um let's do a bunch let's do a, like two a week